Well, uh, we wanted to investigate this further, so we've been joined now by consumer expert and mum, Kate Hardcastle. So we've carried out some tests, haven't we, Kate? We have, yes. We've really put them through their paces. Yeah. And actually, the oldie four pounds has fared pretty well. Oh. I mean, there is that thing of you get what you pay for, but for mm. me as a mum, I'm looking for resilience. Yeah. And actually, sometimes the cheaper the item, the more resilient it actually ah, is. Okay. So, And the great thing is about a cheaper school uniform is it's going to allow you to invest a bit more in the school shoes, which I think are the really important element, you know, because the feet mm. do need to grow. That's a good so, tip. So we've got some sweatshirts here. OK. Um, can I feel them? Absolutely. Because I think I, my, I know test. for my children, they won't wear anything scratchy or tickly. So this is oh, the Aldi is the, one. Aldi is nice and soft. I right. like that. Have uh, they been washed? They've these? all been washed and they've yeah. gone through the paces. And, and that's the M&S version. Oh. There's M&S here and Aldi. Now, I would say on the sweatshirts, because of the colouring element, M&S probably has held its own a little bit better. But this Why is, is double price. Just if you look, there's a little bit more fading here uh, on the Aldi. Yeah, just but around here. But you've got here. to be realistic. Most mums and dads will know that actually children start, you know, colouring the uniform in. Yeah. You know, you, you end up Paint getting all something all else's uniform it. anyway. Mm. So be realistic about this. This isn't the time to be proud, really. This is the time to be realistic about your spend. And what's the Stains. price difference between the oh, Aldi and the m and It uniforms. almost doubles up, Susanna. Right. So, you know, you, you're talking about double. But that said, you know, you're going to £10. So it's... Yes, it's it's an investment, but it's not that much. We've got a much cheaper school uniform these days. It's better. So, look, what about stains? Because you've got your lovely new, wherever you got it from, yeah. white polo shirts. We had How the, did you get them clean? Yeah, we had the orange test here, so stained with bright orange cordial. Mm -hmm. Both, again, have fed pretty well. Mm. Both of, uh, if you look at the collars as well, where the puckery normally is, yeah, are looking pretty good. pretty good. So I think it's a draw on this oh, one, actually. Well, I think I can see a faint there is orangey a stain, but you'd have thing. to stare, but, wouldn't you? Know, you, you, you Back here, yeah. you wouldn't see it at all. Okay. And I think, again, you know, that's on a very high temperature wash. This is and where just to remind the price difference between the Aldi and the Tesco? Again, about double. Right. About okay. double. Wow. Right. So, okay. you know, Aldi are obviously doing this because they want footfall in the supermarkets. They want people to go and visit. Yeah. And yeah. what you've got to remember as well, if we're stocking up over summer, we can spread the cost a little bit as well, which is why most parents are doing it. So making sure that the sizes are going to be right and anything yeah. that's got adjustable waistbands in or anything is going to help you. Okay. And this one from Aldi, it does even have the adjustable waistband oh, in, which is brilliant. Very good. And I think, even though the materials are the same on these two, we've done a pleat test where we've washed test. them and to see whether the so pleats let's just spin that round. So this Absolutely. is Sainsbury's, yeah, and, and that's all the I really think Aldi have come up trumps. They have. Yeah. Now, this presumably hasn't been ironed. No. Nope, They've neither been ironed, so this is just as it came out to the machine. That's Absolutely. very good for those pleats, so isn't it? I genuinely think here, you know. Mm. Use the cash mm. where you need it, and I think the cash perhaps towards the shoes would be a great investment. Mm. Sometimes with the polo shirts it's difficult because a lot of schools want to have their branding on there. Maybe you might be able to get um, someone to do the embroidery a little bit cheaper. The supermarkets also do that too. Mm. But okay. this is a great sign of uh, a £4 uniform working well. Yeah.